Welcome to the introduction to the Cell Anatomy Viewer and game. We also include a bonus game, so stay around so you can see what else you can do with this game. So let's start at the introduction. And we're starting here because there are two basic games and three modes in this particular game. Now the two games are the cell parts game, and that's an ID game, and we will play that at the beginning level in just a moment. And the other game is a protein pathway game. And if you didn't know this, your body is always making proteins. This is really important for it to be able to do work and to function. So cells make proteins, and there's a particular process and path through the different organelles, which are the tiny organs or parts of a cell, that help make, move, and deliver proteins. All right, so let's see how to play. All right, here we are. We can go in and we can play the explore mode. That's just to get familiar with the parts. No game involved. There's the cell parts ID game, and this one is broken up into different levels, and we'll talk about that in a moment. And then there's the protein pathway game, and that we talked about. All right, so when you're in the explore mode, you can go in, pick whatever kind of cell you're wanting to explore, and just click on the different parts of the cell to learn what they are. In the cell parts game, you can go set the level of play, which are beginner, advanced, and expert. And if you select the beginner mode, it's only the parts of the cell. If you go into the advanced mode and you just have one cell type selected, your biggest challenge will be how quickly you can identify the parts of a cell. But remember, you can actually mix and match different cell types. So you can be trying to identify the parts for plants or animals, fungi, or bacteria. We'll talk about that later. And then there's the expert mode. And that's where you identify all the parts of the cell for all the cell types selected. And that one becomes really a big challenge. And that's when you become really, really good at identifying the tiny parts of cells, as we said, called organelles. All right. And then there is the protein pathways game. As we mentioned, your cells are always making proteins, and this is how they do work, and they are able to tell your body how to do certain things. And so we need to know how proteins are produced. You can think of it like a manufacturing facility where you're going to produce proteins and you have to have a particular process. And this is where you do it. And there's a certain path for the production line. So we'll go into that later. And then there's how the game is scored, which we'll leave that for you to review on your own. Now, the buttons here, this is something that I'll point out when we play the game. But just in case, before we get there, I want to point out that you can have more than one, more than one cell type selected, and that makes it more complex. So we have animal cells, we have plant cells, we have fungus or fungi, which, by the way, are not plant cells. They're not animal cells. And then we have bacteria. So you can learn all the parts of all these cells, and you'll see that there is some crossover between the cells, but there are some parts that are unique to some of the cells. All right. And then once you're playing, remember that you can select the cell type. You can zoom in because you might see that there are some cells that you want to see a little bit more detail. So you can zoom in. You can recenter the view of the cell. And then, of course, you can reset everything. And there's the question mark that lets you get basic instructions on the particular page you're on and you can turn the sounds on and off. All right, well, let's go back up here and we'll go play the game. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to show you what the Explorer mode does. So I'm going to go into the Explorer and I'm leaving it on the animal cell. 
and I can just press play. And at this point, all I'm doing is clicking on the different parts of the cell. So this shows me this is the rough ER. And what are these red things? Ah, that's mitochondria. And if I want to know what these green things are, those are peroxisomes. So you can basically go through all the parts of the cell, and it's kind of like a, you know, a modified set of flashcards. All right. If you didn't want to do animal, I can switch to plant, and you'll see that, for example, if I click here, there is another green organelle. And in this case, it's the chloroplast. And the chloroplast is where plants are able to do their photosynthesis. So let's go back to the main menu and we do this. I can go back to the main and I could go back to the game mode. So we're going to go to game mode and I'm going to set everything at beginner. I'm just going to leave it on animal and I'm going to go do the part name. And I'm not going to ask for a clue. Now if you ask for a clue that makes it a little bit easier. So if you're just getting started you might want to do that. Now I'm going to go play and the parts are displayed in a random order each time. So the game is different each time you play it. All right, so here we are looking at rough ER. And so I'll take you through this round. And it's no big deal that I'm going to show you how this goes, because remember, it's all random. You come back, it'll be different. So rough ER. Great. Smooth ER. Good. Let's see. Cytosol. Let's go inside that. Yep. And then next. All right. So now cell membrane. That would be this. Mitochondria. We were talking a little bit about this. These are really cool. You need to learn about mitochondria because they're really amazing. And then ribosomes. Now, here's a place you might want to zoom in because these happen to be really tiny. So I'm going to zoom in, and there's this little red dot here. And if I click on that, sure enough, there is a ribosome. So if I go next, I'm going to make sure I zoom out because I might miss an organelle. And I'm looking for the nuclear DNA. OK, that would be here. The nucleus, ah, all right, got that. And the Golgi complex, one of my favorite organelles. All right, and then it says, congratulations, you have identified all the parts of the cell. So if I continue, I get a breakdown of my score, and it looks pretty good. I got 100 points. That's good to know. I can now go ahead and enter my name if I wanted to. So we have Dr. Biology. I can print the summary. Now, when I print the summary, it tells the score. It also shows me the parts that I ID'd. And at this point, I'm not going to bother with printing it. So I'm going to just do cancel, and we can go back and play the new game. So if I go back to the play a new game, I can make it more difficult. And I'll let you do that because this game gets even better. Well, actually, let's do this. Let's do beginner. And this time, let's mix things up. Let's do animal and plant. All right, so let's go play. Everything is the same, but now we're going to have both those cells. So if I click on play, what I will find is that I now have to remember to switch to the correct icon, animal, or plant. OK, so the first thing I need to find is the cytosol of a plant. Well, right now I'm an animal, so I need to go to the plant. And I need to find cytosol. Got it. And then at this point, it says cell membrane, but it's in the animal cell. OK, so let's go back here. Cell membrane, got it. And still in the animal, I want to do the nucleus. OK, got it. 
So you can see that as we play this, we've got to go back and forth between the cells. So let's do the next round. So I want to find the nuclear DNA for the animal cell. It's, you know, the instruction set. Okay, there we go. Smooth the R. Ah, but it's the plant. But if I try to do the smooth ER here, what would it do? Give me an error. Okay, I'm going to switch to plant, and I'm going to try it again. Ah, success. And then cell wall for the plant cell. Okay, so that must be here. If I go into this now, I have smooth ER, and it's for animal. So we need to go to smooth ER. Now plant DNA. I've got to switch over here to the DNA for the plant. Cell membrane for the plant. Now this one's always a fun one to hunt for. There we go. Chloroplast. Ah, remember, we talked about the chloroplast. That's where plants do their photosynthesis. Got it. Ribosomes. Again, you might need to zoom in to get these little red ribosomes. And we will, oh, ribosomes, animal. Oh, let's go to animal. Ah, still zoomed in. Cool. Now I got that right. Golgi complex, but plant. Okay, let's go back here. But I'm just going to zoom out so I make sure I don't miss an organelle. So there it is. Go next. Rough ER, animal. So let's go back here. Cytosol, animal. Mitochondria, animal. Ooh, cool. Golgi complex, animal. Ribosomes, plant. Switch over to the plant. And the mitochondria for the plant. And we want to get to the rough ER for the plant and the nucleus for the plant, and we do next. And now we have completed this round and we can go back and look at the results again. We could print a summary, we could put our name in. I'll just add that now. I can print the summary and it shows all the parts that were identified in the animal cell and all the parts that were identified in the plant cell. And then I can go ahead and print, but at this point I'm just going to go ahead and uh, cancel. Oh, by the way, that is the score here. And so now I'm just gonna cancel. All right, so at this point I can play another game. So let's go play a new game and let me introduce you to the protein pathway game. I'm not going to go through all of this one because I want you to explore it and learn about how proteins are produced. But I am going to get you started. So we're going to go to the animal and we're going to press play. Now what we're doing is we're starting off at the beginning of the process. And so it says to build proteins, all those instructions, they're held in the DNA. So that means we're going to be starting in the DNA. What comes after the nuclear DNA? Hmm. I've got to do something. Uh, where do I need to go? Ah, nucleus. That's good. Now, where am I going to go once I'm in the nucleus? Well, I need to be able to get out. So I've got to get to something. Well, so I'll probably have to get outside of the nucleus. So I'm going to click on the cytosol. Ah, I got it right. Well, where do I need to go next? And that's where I'm going to leave you. I want you to figure out what the rest of the path is for producing proteins in the animal cell. And not all cells produce proteins the same way because they don't all have the same organelles. So I'm going to leave you here. I'm going to go back to the main menu. And before we leave Cell Anatomy Viewer, I want to point out that you can go to a companion of this game called Building Blocks of Life. And let me zoom in just a bit here. 
The Building Blocks of Life story is a really fun and great way to learn about cells in general. Things like, how many cells does the human body have? And if you put them end to end, how far would they stretch? It's pretty impressive. But you can also learn about the atoms in life, the parts of the cell, which also includes this game, cell division, how are more cells made, Ingredients for life. What are all the building blocks you need to have? And then a part about the scientist that actually gave cells their name, Robert Hooke. And he's also one of the first scientists to use a microscope. One more thing to point out is that you can read this story in multiple languages because it's been translated into many different languages. So that's something to keep in mind if you're not a native English speaker. So right now I'm going to take you back to the parts of the cell section. And here I'm going to take you back to the cell viewer so that you can get started playing and learning about cell anatomy and protein pathways. And remember, it's not just for animal cells, not just plant cells or fungus cells, but also for bacteria cells. So that wraps up this introduction, and we hope you have fun and enjoy playing the game.